Alright, hello all, and welcome back to some more Splatoon matches! So, uh, these are gonna actually be three matches that I had with a friend of mine from work uh, earlier tonight. Uh, it's like 2 in the morning when I'm recording this, so yeah, if I sound tired, I'm sorry. But anyways, so in this first match I'm once again using the Octobrush. I'm sorry if you guys are getting tired of it, but I, I love this weapon too much to, to put it down for an extended period of time. Um, Basically in this match I'm just trying out my quick respawn set to see how it works with the Octobrush because I noticed that last night it was actually working like way better than, or well maybe not way better, but like it was working pretty well uh, when compared to my run and swim speed set that I usually use with it. So anyways, uh, as per the use, uh, I decided to just work up a Kraken at the start of this match just in case. Um, and as I said, like, in previous videos where I use the Octobrush, I just like to have the Kraken at my disposal just in case I need it, um, if I can go in or something. So at this point in the match, my teammates are doing pretty decent, like, covering the, um, covering the center, and so now they're riding the tower. Uh, basically my job in this match, I felt like, is I need to try and protect my teammates that are on the tower rather than ride it myself, because I feel like... When playing like this anyways, or with this weapon, this weapon's more suited for like um, keeping people off or just like supporting the people who are on the tower. Um, and right there as you can see, I don't know if that was lag or something, but that was really weird because he like s slid while he squid jumped. So I don't understand what happened there, but regardless, kudos to him for avoiding my Kraken. That was pretty, pretty good of him on his part. Anyways, now is where... Uh, the match starts to get exciting instead of just me running around not really doing much. Um, so once again my teammates are riding the tower and I killed that roller before he's able to get rid of me. And now I have a Kraken which is good so that's that's helpful. And so I think yeah I managed to get that guy right there. Um, I didn't really predict where he was I just kind of guessed for a second but then that roller uh, ended up getting caught by me and then so did this blaster. And then the E leader ends up getting me with some well-thrown burst bombs. Um, very interesting set on that E leader. Uh, I notice people are starting to run Ink Saver mains on E leaders, so that's interesting. You can increase your like total, uh, like fully charged shot uh, amount from like three without any Ink Saver mains to like six or something. I think with like two mains or something like that. I don't know, but. Anyways, uh, right there I tried to avoid the E-Leader because I saw his, his sniper line of death on me like right before he fully charged it, so I was able to run away. Um, and so yeah, again, I'm back to that strategy of trying to support my teammates who are on the tower by stopping people uh, in the base from advancing farther so that they can get to them and hurt them. I don't want that to happen, obviously, so I'm trying to help out in that way. Um, and right here, this sniper is definitely a problem for me to, to get. Obviously, I can't get him there. Um, and the main reason I use that Kraken, which is, uh, well, it's because, uh, sometimes I use the Kraken just to get away from situations, because obviously you're invincible when you use a Kraken. And that's kind of my first tip, I guess, for this video. Um, sometimes Krakens aren't only just for getting KOs. They can be used for, like, running away and, like, saving you're saving yourself from getting splatted basically and I'll use it like that sometimes and so in that situation I kinda was using it like that um, so it works sometimes anyways I caught this roller before he rolled away but then I got caught again by the e-leader and his burst bombs um, and you can see why I love this set so much as I seriously take like a second and a half to respawn it's crazy how quick it goes it's really fun um, and hopefully I can make the set a little better with the sub weapons at least Anyways, right here I catch this E-leader not really paying attention to his surroundings and get him pretty easily and then get the roller before they were able to sneak up on me. Um, throughout this whole match, that poor roller, I would catch him like right, like every time I would get him, it would be like right before he was going to get me. Um, so anyways, right here, uh, as I was talking about in the last video, I don't want to get too crazy with my Kraken and put myself in a bad situation, so... When I realized that I wasn't seeing either of them, I just decided to run away and get out of there. Anyways, once again, I managed to swim around the roller and confuse him a little bit. And then the E-leader's kind of just over there doing whatever. I don't know what he's doing. I guess trying to get back to his perch. But here comes the roller once again rolling. Um, I guess I don't get him. He, he made a smart decision that time, though, and ran back. Because I guess he knew 
our previous encounters with one another didn't go very well, so, so yeah, didn't want to push it anymore. Anyways, at this point, now that the match is ending, I'm just kind of focused on surviving, just keeping people away from the tower, because really all we need to do is either uh, get on it or just stay away from them. And then I get a last second kill, and so I'm just going to activate my Kraken so I'm invincible and don't die. So yeah, that's my basic uh, Octobrush play, as you can see. Um, once again, reaffirming that it is my most favorite weapon. And I love this quick respawn set as well because it looks so beautiful. Look at how hilarious he looks. I, I feel like he looks like a little little hipster inkling ready to cook in the kitchen, but also ready to go on a jog. Anyways, yes, you can see I'm at S12. It's very disappointing. I've had really bad, bad connection problems lately. I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, tonight, after I switched uh, the connection to a different router, it managed to get a little better. Anyways, probably the tastiest match of the night, or well, the match with like the tastiest moment is this one. So, the sloshing machine. Uh, this is a weapon I, I don't really know how I feel about. Um, sometimes I do decent with it, like in this match, and sometimes I do like atrocious with it. It's just, sometimes it's horrible. I really don't know how I feel about this thing, but anyways, we have my favorite green color in the game. It looks so awesome, um, and I'm using my bomb range set with this because this has splat bombs and a bomb rush. Um, so in this match, I start off slow. I start off like really bad, just doing stupid things and kind of like that, just not really paying attention and kind of not really used to this weapon either. So I, uh, as the match goes along, you'll see me like get more used to its range and basically like how I should be playing it in this given situation. But anyways, you can see that they have a lot of stage control right now which is very important in a ranked match like this, but it doesn't really seem like they're capitalizing off of it too much. Um, because, well now they're losing their stage control. And so right there I, again, can't aim properly with this thing I guess, but, but oh well, my teammates managed to get three of them or two of them, I guess, uh, and the guy that was on the tower, so that's good. So now we have uh, a little bit of an advantage. Uh, they have to now come down into our into the center, which is mostly in our control at this point. Anyways, now I finally get it together and get a kill, thankfully. And now I'm just hanging back, basically waiting for my opportunity to strike, like I do with most weapons like this. And so now I know that where the tower is, uh, or like how we're pushing the tower right now, most of them are going to try to fall into the center part, so it's probably best if I throw my bomb rush like all into the center. And as you can see, it worked pretty well because I ended up getting two kills, which is nice. Um, and then I look like a scrub right there because I hit that guy with two hits, and I just needed one more and he would have died, but I missed him and he got me, so that was sad. But I probably wasn't going to survive that encounter anyways because they had a sniper up there as well who was like ready to get me and I was like all in their ink and everything, so it was not a good situation. Anyways, now I get my revenge on that Luna Blaster and get get him, and then I trade with the Slosher. Both of us couldn't aim, obviously, until like that last hit, and then we got each other, so. Um, now they tried, they had a decent little push right there, but now the teammates, or my teammates were able to stop them before they advanced farther. And I think any second now actually is where the beautiful moment is about to happen. Um. Let's just say it involved- yeah, it's right here, okay. Watch this bomb. Yeah, I- I got a triple kill with a single bomb. That- it was so hilarious. And then I- I managed- I wasn't able to get that guy and secure the quad, but- Oh well, he died, and that's all that matters. But yeah, I freaking- it was so hilarious. Like, I saw all three of them right there in that spot, so I was like, okay, well, if I throw this bomb, let's just see what happens. And I kind of was thinking to myself, like, what if I get a triple with this? But not really thinking it actually happened, and then all of a sudden just three three souls popped up on my screen. It was really hilarious. That's one of the funniest things that's ever happened to me in Splatoon, for sure. It was really funny. But anyways, to get back to the match, uh, I ended up getting splatted by the Slosher. Um, should have escaped when I had the chance, but oh well. Uh, it, doesn't, it didn't really matter at that point. Now we're just kind of playing defense. Basically, we don't really need to push it anymore. But, or well, actually, that's not true. We definitely need to push the tower as often as we can, but in safe ways. Um, anyways, I managed to get that guy. And now we're going to, or I'm going to try to push it forward a little bit. Just so we can make it a little more difficult for them to, to advance it into our base. And right there was definitely some serious lag. I... I didn't even throw anything at him and he just died, so 
it must have been one of the bombs or something, but that was weird. I don't know what happened there. And then obviously he one-shotted me because he got a direct hit, so. Anyways, we had another really good push while all that was going on with me. Um, and now basically what I'm trying to do is just kind of hang back and not die from this suction bomb rush. Uh, none of us died actually, which is quite impressive I must say. But anyways, so I don't, yeah, I don't manage to get the guy on the tower. But now my main objective is to just try and survive, but that didn't work. Because <laughs> this tent attack was just like in our base. I, d I don't know where he came from. He, or, well, he obviously flanked uh, from around that corner, but yeah, that was just, that was so random. That was the last thing I was expecting, was just somebody to just be standing there with an Inkzuka, but oh well. Regardless, I managed to get that Luna Blaster with the bomb, and then I get that guy, and then I get that guy, so... Uh, I got a triple one traded, and as you can see by the squids at the top, all three of, or all four of them were dead. So, our teammates are now going to advance the tower a little bit farther. And that's definitely a good time for all four of them to be splatted, because there's only ten seconds left at that point when that happens, so... That basically really helps us out, but one of them is on the tower, so now we just have to kill him because, I mean, he's the only one alive, and then I managed to get him. So that was a pretty fun match. Uh, definitely the highlight of that and my night, probably, well, for sure, was that bomb getting a triple kill. That was, that was so hilarious. When that happened, I was, I was talking to my friend who I was playing with, and... I definitely kind of freaked out. I mean, I didn't freak out that much because it's like one. It was one thirty in the morning or something when we were playing. But when it happened, I was like, "Oh my god!" I just got a triple with one bomb. It was it was hilarious. But anyways, moving on to the final match, and this final match was extremely fun as well. I had a lot of fun in this match too. Um, as you can see, I'm using the heavy splatling deco, which, in case you don't know what its kit is, it's a point sensor sub with a kraken special. And this time I actually remember to use my point sensors at least like a few times, I think. Um, earlier tonight I was using the Neo Splushomatic again and I managed, or I was using my point sensors pretty well. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with that weapon as well, actually. Uh, I did a private room with some friends earlier today on Splatoon and I got 20 kills in one of the matches I did with the Neo Splushomatic, which was awesome. So anyways, I managed to get that guy before he makes his way over to the tower. Um, I feel like, as well, with this weapon, uh, after you've used the Hydra Splatling at least a little bit, this weapon seems like like way, way easier for me to use. Like, I used to be horrible at this weapon, but after using the Hydra Splatling and seeing how horribly slow it charges, it's like this thing charges so fast compared to it. It just makes it so much easier for me to use, I feel like. Anyway, so I trade with the Slosher, or Tri Slosher right there. Um, you can see the ink brush just going in right there. I always love seeing ink brushes just... Well, I mean they always go in, but it's just hilarious to just see ink brushes doing what they do. It's, it's really funny. Anyways, now my main objective is to just try to get whoever's on the tower off and then manage to get him. And fighting hard through the disruptor right here. I had to just try my best. Anyways, so yeah, there you can see me utilizing my point sensor a little bit. I was able to locate that guy and... I obviously didn't splat him, but maybe one of my teammates did. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Anyways, I kind of managed to steal the guy who used the killer whale. Um, I managed to steal his kill, uh, kind of. I mean, that guy was definitely dead. Uh, anyways, get rid of the sprinkler. So now I'm just kind of waiting around for somebody to come up, and we managed to get him, and now I kind of I kind of just clicked my Kraken in a panic. I didn't really mean to use it, and you can see how that kind of bites me in the butt right here, because... Uh, I died from that ink brush, um, and then he, he kills somebody else. It's kind of—I mean—that ink brush is not too bad. Definitely doing better than I would with that thing. I—I uh, I hate the ink brush so much. Like when I'm using it, I'm so horrible with it. But it is a pretty horrific weapon as it is. So, I mean, oh well. Anyways, now they are making a good push, and they have three or they have three people that have a bubble on, so I definitely decided to back up and just get away from that. <laughs> and then the ink brush comes out of nowhere, and I at least managed to trade with him. Um, but yeah, so anyways, now the tower's back to the middle, and they do have a good portion of the middle in their ink. Uh, so I managed, or I guess I don't manage to get that guy, but I located that one, which was nice. Um, he kind of just ran away though, which was probably smart on his part. Um, but now he's actually coming back. Oh, it's the ink brush guy. Well, 
And he managed to get me, so... I mean, there's that. I think at this point he's killed me like at least five times, if I'm counting right, or four. Four is probably a better bet, but yeah. Now they're making another good push, and they have like a lot of control in our zone, but uh, my teammates managed to get one of them, and then I managed to get two of them, so that was good. And now the tri slosher, the last one left, had his bubble, and jumped on the tower, and got me, so now it's getting a little dangerous, but thankfully my teammates were able to, to handle it uh, when I died, and they were able to to keep us from, or keep them from pushing it any farther. And so at this point I'm kind of just hanging back waiting for my, my moment to strike. And so I get a double right there thankfully, but I wasn't, uh, I was unfortunately not able to take down the Neo splash o uh, which would have been nice, because then I would have had a triple obviously, and then that would have made it harder for them to advance. So I'm going to manage to be able to get that guy while he uses his ink strike on the tower, which probably isn't the best idea. Um, uh, I guess I guess I could try to offer some tips maybe with this or well right here actually this sniper I don't know what he's doing but clearly he wasn't able to aim or something because I saw his line like on me for at least a second or two uh, while I was just standing there shooting so I mean he could have got me I guess but I don't know what I don't know what happened there um, but yeah anyways tips with this weapon. Um, I would say, in terms of like a specific set for heavy splatlings in general, not just like the deco in specific, but I would say you definitely want run and swim speeds. Um, and you can kind of see how they're helping me here because I'm able, well, not when I'm disrupted obviously, but like um, just when I'm like shooting with it and running back and forth, it's like really helpful. I, it's uh, definitely the set you want to run with this weapon. Um, and then also like, I mean, there's obviously like other sets you can run, like Ink Saver main sets would be good. Um, maybe not special charge up or stuff like that, but I would say like like Ink Recovery up, Ink Saver main, that kind of um, run speed, swim speed, those kinds of things are definitely the best. Anyways, that's going to be it for the three matches that I thought were the tastiest tonight. Um, this one I did the best in terms of kills by one, as you'll see. Uh, I managed to get 18. I think I died five times, I don't remember, no, six times, well, pretty close, but yeah, so that's it for this uh, set of recordings, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time, or well, I guess it's not over yet, okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.